Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear lunch break lesson, seek the Lord Israel. This place is crumbling, Israel, right in front of your eyes. You, you don't even see it, though. The Lord really blinded the majority of our people. I mean, with all this chaos, with all this violence, with all this confusion, the system is crashing, the economy is crashing, everything is crashing, and our people still ain't seeking the Lord. Letting you know that the Lord got a blocker on them, spiritual blockers on them, man, to this day. Going right back to Isaiah, the sixth chapter, Lord willing, we might get that. For the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, let us continue to seek the Lord, Lord's will. If it's the Lord's will, constantly pray each and every day that the Lord keeps their spirit on us to continue to seek them every day, man. Seek the Lord every day or feel his anger because he's angry with the wicked. Psalms. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to come right back to this. Like I said before, just something quick. Just something quick. Lord willing, the elect is edified. Let's get this right quick, Psalms. And look, least, that you may be hid from the Lord's anger, right? Let's get this. Psalms 7 and 11. Not click it yet. Psalms chapter 7, verse 11. Listen, listen to this, Israel. You, you, why you think everything is a joke? This is how the Lord feels about the wicked of the earth, right? Psalm chapter 7 verse 11 The Most High judges the righteous Which are the Israelites And the Most High is angry with the wicked Every day Why do you think his servants are telling you To seek him Because he's angry with the wicked Every day Don't a day go past Don't a day go past You see judgment going forth but the unjust know of no shame. All this judgment, all these tornadoes, these storms, and the Lord, yeah, we go, we're gonna keep repeating it through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, We're gonna keep look, we're gonna declare the works of the Lord. We're gonna keep continue to declare the works of the Lord, man. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Psalm chapter 7, verse 11, the most high judges the righteous. So we 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 get our just due, we get our punishments, we get judged. And the most high is angry with the wicked every day. It's, the scripture says sevenfold more upon sinners on the phone just chimed in. So all of us get judged. We get judged each and every day. But it's sevenfold more upon the transgressors. You see, Israelites is living in sin. You see? And he's heathens too, man. So so let's go right back. I just wanted to show you that right quick. So you, so you think the God of the Bible loves everybody? Well, what I just read, he said that the God of the Bible is angry with the wicked every day. You want to continue to be wicked? You want to keep going on that wide, you know what I'm saying? That wide path, that wide gate, which leadeth unto destruction. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. Remember that. Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. The Lord is looking for the humble. The contrite spirit, the remorseful spirit, the repentant spirit, the spirit that regrets what they did, their wrongful thoughts, sins, and doings in this life and their former lives. And we've been going off a long time, which have wrought his judgment. We wrought the judgment of the Lord. Henceforth, that's why we're here. Slavery, that was part of the Lord's judgment. The Lord took us through the ringer. That's why he commanded Israel to repent, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid. Hid Israel in the day of the Lord's anger. Because remember, he's angry with the wicked every day. Do you, do you want to be hid from the Lord's anger? And I don't want to get that too. I want to get that Proverbs. Let's get this right quick because I quoted it. Proverbs. The Lord said, you ignore this word that he's even your prayer should be an abomination. You don't, you don't know how deadly serious that is? This is Proverbs chapter 13. Let's just get this right quick. Was it 14? 
might be 14 proverbs chapter let's see bear with me but i will read this though proverbs 13 13 whoso despises the word shall be destroyed did you hear that israel how do you seek the lord through this word and the man is preaching it but whoso despises the word the word the, the words is coming out of this bible shall be destroyed but he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded and, that, and that's plain that's plain I want to get to one about um companion of foods. It might be the 14th chapter. Let's go over one. Let's go over one. Let's see if it's in here. Bear with me. I might have to look it up, but it's all good. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. It was the 13th chapter, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20, and it reads, Lunch break lesson, real quick. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. The wise men of the children of Israel are seeking the Lord right about now. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. What part of that don't you Israelites understand? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, what part of that don't you understand? It's plain to me. I, I get it. I get the scripture loud and clear. If I continue to walk with a bunch of fools, a blockheads, a bunch of blockheads, a bunch of meatballs, a bunch of jackasses, I'm going to be destroyed. But if I continue to walk with wise men, and let me show, show you what that is. Still in the book of Proverbs. Let's show you the wise men. Let's get this. Let's show you what makes you wise. Proverbs 1. And seven, the fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and, and instructions. So the wise men of the children of Israel is going to take heed to this word. They're going to fear the Lord. That's what makes you wise. Let's get another one. Let's get another. Let's go to Job. Job really laid it on out there. Job chapter 28. We're living in the time of judgment, Israel. Job chapter 28, but you don't see it, all right? Job chapter 28. <laughs> I'm going to get that too. I'm going to just get it. Proverbs. Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. You see that? He that walketh with wise men, the Israelite men and women that fear the Lord, you see? pretty much are going to be preserved but a companion of fools shall be destroyed job 28 and 28 and unto man he said the israelite man woman and child behold the fear of the lord yahweh through his only begotten son yahweh shai who they eagerly call god and jesus that is wisdom and we get that we understand that clearly and to depart from evil is understanding when you depart from evil, that means you're seeking the Lord. That means you have repented and you constantly repent each and every day. But a companion of fools will be destroyed. All right. The, oh, yeah. The scriptures say poverty and shame, bruh. What is that? Um. What did I want? Oh, um, yes. Yeah, rock. Let's just get this right quick. Let's get some rock five. Just, just some quick lunch break lesson, man. Just, just want to just throw something out there. Keep that energy. Keep that energy of the fear of the Lord rolling. It's a, it's a good read. You can read the whole thing. But I'm in, I'm in the process of, process of time. So rock chapter five, verse seven in the reads, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. What, what are you Israelites waiting on? You Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the ones that at least watch the videos, because we know the majority of our people don't watch the videos, but the Israelites that at least watch the videos or listen to at least about a couple of minutes of the videos, why why are you not seeking the Lord? Why are you still taking why are you still taking this thing as a joke? You see? Why are you looking at this thing of ours as entertainment? Is it, so, something is really wrong with you, right? Make no terror to turn to the Lord and putting that off from day to day. You think you got to tomorrow to seek the Lord, right? You think you got to Friday to seek the Lord, right? Man, also know if not as time, you don't know when judgment, all this judgment going forward, and you, and you think you can just determine when the Lord is going to judge you. You you don't know. You, you don't know. For suddenly, you keep putting it off. You keep putting off seeking the Lord. For suddenly, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, when it's all lovey devil, when you think you good and comfortable and at ease, in thy security, thou should be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. But description don't make sense to you, do it? 
You see, this scripture right here goes in one ear and out the other. If if that, if that, we supposed to be seeking the Lord. That that didn't that didn't resonate with you yet. Let's get this though. Because there is a way that seems right unto an Israelite. Ignoring this word seems right unto an Israelite man, woman, and child. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Baruch chapter 4. Let's just get this right quick. Just something quick. Because remember, the Lord made good on his word now. 28. Baruch chapter 4 verse 28. Just something I'm just seeking the Lord. Baruch, the Lord, seek the Lord early that he may be found, right? Baruch chapter 4 verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be in return. Seek him ten times more. This is most definitely ain't the time to be BSing around. It's, it's crumbling right in front of your eyes. Society as you know it is crumbling right in front of your eyes. And, and guess who's doing it? The God of the Bible. Guess who you? Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't guess that, you know how people, they gone in the head. They don't know who's doing what. They, th they think Mother Nature made it flood. You see, they're giving credit to Mother Nature. Man, no. The Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, man. Amos, chapter 5. Just something quick, man. Once again, Lord willing, the elect is edified. Amos, chapter 5. Let's get this. Amos chapter 5, verse 4. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, unto the house of Israel. And the Lord told us to give you warning from him. The Lord is angry and pissed off with the wicked every day, Israel. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, unto the house of Israel, a people for us a place which represents you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is who this word is for. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. It, it don't get no plainer than Israel. It don't get no plainer than that right there. You see? It, it, it don't get no plainer than that. Let's see. Seeking with all your heart. Matter of fact, let's just get this. Let's just get this. St. Matthew 6 uh, and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. You see? You got Israelites on the face of the earth trying to establish their own righteousness. No. Seek the Most High and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. The Lord is going to give you your heart's desire if you seek him first. And everything has to be in righteousness anyway. You see? And we're not going to get it all on this side. We're going to get it when we get in the kingdom. But seeking the Lord is way better than ignoring the Lord. You see, seeking the Lord is way more better than ignoring the words of the Lord. He's angry. He's a violent man. He's an austere man. He, he's very serious. You, know, you see, why, why you think we constantly doing these videos every day, man? This ain't no, this ain't no joke to us. Matter of fact, let's go back to Zephaniah. The, the Lord said, all oh, the prophets, no, I don't want to get that too. I, I, I'm, I'm about to end this lesson. I just want to do something quick. Lord willing the elect, about, about just how deadly serious it is when it comes to seeking the Lord. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. Let's get this. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. Once again, you're not going to hear these scriptures in your church, your local church building, Okay. You're not going to hear these scriptures in your local church building. Hell, you might not even hear one scripture. The pastor going to tell you about his life. He going to bring out the scriptures. That's, that's why he tell you, you Israelites, to stay away from those guys, those crazy guys on the street corners, right? Because so, we're going to give it to you like a T.I. is. Yes, we is. Like a T.I. is. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord, the righteous Lord is in the midst thereof. The omnipotent, right? He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. He fell if not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So why are you playing around? The God of the Bible is putting, putting forth judgment each and every day. I got one more after this. Lord's will. Let's just, I just want to get this though. Seek the Lord, Israel. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Let's get, let's get, let's get it right quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 in the reese. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. 
We're going to sum it all up, Israel. We're going to sum it all up. The reason why we was put on the face of the earth, even if you don't want to hear it, you think you was put on the face of the earth to be the best movie star, to be the, you know, um, um, the best dancer, to be on every talent show, so forth and so on, man. You you think that's why you was put on the face of the earth, to make their greatest rap hit, right? All right? To be on the front of Sports Illustrated with your swimsuit on, right? All right? Did you think you was put on earth to do TikTok videos all day, right? And all this other nonsense, right? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most. You think you was put on earth to be a bad B, huh? Huh? You think you was put on earth to do only whores, right? Take that only whores Facebook. You think you was put on earth to be on Facebook live all damn day talking about nothing, right? You you think that's your purpose? Really? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, and keep His commandments, rehearse them to the best of your ability, for this is the whole duty of man. You heard that, Israel? For this is our duty. This is the sole purpose that we was created and put on this good green earth. You see? For the most I shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You see? Look, but you ain't got to take our word for it. Do what you do. Do, do what you do. The Lord got spirits, creative events, all right? Matter of fact, before I even get that, let's just get that. Let's get some rock, the 40th chapter. I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw it. Lunch break, let's, I'm going to throw it in there. I'm going to throw whatever the Lord want me to throw in there. I'm going to throw it in there. So rock chapter 40. Let's get it. So rock chapter 40. Verse 8 in the reads. Remember, this lesson is called Seek the Lord while he may be found. Such things happen into all flesh. Verse 8. So rock 40 and 8. Such things happen into all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sins. A complete number of things are going to happen to the Israelites that don't seem horrible, horrible. Look. Look, man, a complete number of horrible things are going to happen to the Israelites that are not seeking the Lord, all right? Death and bloodshed and strife, sword, calamities, famine, death, 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 and bloodshed, strife, and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. You look, you, you still don't want to seek the Lord? Well, well, that that's judgment for you then. You, the Lord got some judgment for you. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Knowing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be, Israel? Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. It's my last one. You see, it's on you. It's on you after that, Israel. Whether small or great, whether man or woman, the Israelites that don't seek the Lord, you're going to die soon, come man. All right? In a horrible fashion. Sleeves to eat, Esau, eat him. He didn't tell you that, though, right? Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Seek, remember, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, none of these shall fail, meaning these prophecies. You see? You think this is a fairy tale book? Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And who's bringing the fire? The Lord. The Lord's bringing nuclear fire. A nuclear holocaust is going to hit the shores of America, right? And all the proud, yea, and all the do weekly. You see, you, you companion of fools shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts. Not a nice guy, but the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, right? That it shall leave them neither root nor branch, but unto you that fear my name, which is the beginning of knowledge, which is the beginning of wisdom and understanding, but unto you that fear my name, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, shall the Son of Righteousness, Lord Yahweh, shall arise with healing in his wings when he come with the chariots, the heavenly hosts, and the chariots, the spaceships, right? And you, you can look at us all crazy. It don't matter, man. Seeing is believing for you people. Yeah, seeing is believing for you people, right? And you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. Now the Lord been having us tell you, starting off with our head apostles, elder bishops of great millstone, and the men before them telling you Israelites to seek him over and over and over and over. How much, how much warning, how much warning warning you think the Lord is going to give you? How much more warning do you think the Lord is going to actually give you? The clock is ticking, Israel. Your time is running out, Israel. Seek the Lord early while he may be found. Shalom.